it's time for a quick chicken update. So we've got the chickens and this is our second chicken tractor inside the electric poultry netting and we go moving them once a week. So I mow, they started over there and then they've been moving now for two or three months along here and I just moved them to here this morning. So I mow it um, and then I move them onto here and then leave them for a week and uh, move them off. We've got some new chickens. Um, it's all quite a nice time of day. They're having a bit of a bath. It's the bathing time. There's one of our new chickens. She's a light Sussex. So, and there's a little partner there, a little friend, having a nice bath. You can see them all rolling around. They um, use the dust bath to remove parasites. Uh, she's another one of our new chickens. She's a cuckoo mara, the French French breed. And then uh, there's another one. There's another cuckoo mara. So I just moved them into here today, and so they're happily scratching around. I've got an escapee somewhere. There's uh, we've got one chicken that's like that one, and um, she spends more time outside of the. Uh, poultry netting than in and goes and lays her eggs elsewhere. But hey, that can't be helped. At least it's only one and not all of them. There, there she is. Look. <laughs> so yeah, so she runs around outside and then when she feels like coming back in she just jumps back over the fence. So this is our uh, mobile chicken pen. Um, these uh, corrugated iron roofing pieces on a frame and then I've got these uh, retractable wheels so it's not uh, super easy to move because it's quite heavy but it's, it's, it's easy enough I just go moving it um, I just go moving it closer and closer to the to the edge where it's gonna go and then I move it with the chickens all in on the last day I just have to move it one length of the pen so in here we've got our roosts, there's a little chicken in there making a nest and we've got a chicken that is broody in here, she's not very happy if I bother her, she'll probably peck me, oh well she's alright. So she's broody, she's been in there on top of the eggs for ages now, I just uh, nick the eggs off her every day, poor little thing. <laughs> Yeah, here you can see the chickens having the nice, nice little dust bath, dust bath that they're enjoying. I'm about to run out of battery, so I'll cut it off and then uh, show you the rest of the chickens, our new flock. So this is our little energizer, solar powered energizer. So just a little five, five watt panel, and then the energizer for the for the uh, electric poultry netting. Just got two uh, little motorcycle batteries in there, deep cycle batteries, and they work well. We get a lot of sun here, so I don't need a big battery in there. Here's our new flock. We've got, this is our new cockerel, which you will see a video about, or I might have already put it up. But this is our new cockerel, and uh, this is our new flock. So these are all point of lay hens. We bought point of lay hens. That means that they are you buy them just when they're about to start laying. So none of these have actually laid any eggs yet. We've had them for a week. So um, so you know they're point of lay. And the reason for that, if you don't know, is that um, if you get birds that are already laying, you don't really know how old they are. So if you get point of lay hens then you know that they're about three or four months old and so you get the full uh, productive life out of them um, and you don't get sold old birds that uh, that um, won't be productive for very long.
So we've got half and half here. We've got 12 hens and our little white cockerel over there. And we've got six leghorns, which are the white ones. And six is a brown, which are the brown ones. And so we've got a friend gave us this cockerel. And so um, it means that as of next spring, probably when these, uh, when the leghorn um, chickens are about a year old, we can start, well they'll be older than a year, they'll be about a year and a half old. We can breed our own, uh, our own hens, our own um, laying hens. So these two breeds are well known for their laying. Um, so the well, the guy that I bought them off told me because I asked him what should I should I get more is a brown or more um, leghorn and he told me the leghorns lay just as many eggs but eat less so that's what you want with the laying bird you want them to be fairly small um, so that they eat uh, so they don't eat very much and um, so that they lay lots of lots of eggs. So this is our new flock. They're still a bit scared of me because they're young and they're not all too sure what's going on. And I grabbed the cockerel earlier on, so um, yeah, <laughs> there's a bit of ruckus. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's up with the cockerel. Maybe he's just protecting himself from the wind, or maybe he's trying to pretend to be a chicken because I grabbed him earlier on just because he was being he was uh, taking over the feeder and not letting any of the hens get to it. So. I grabbed him for a while and so that the other birds could get to the feeder. So there you go. This is our new flock. We got um just we've doubled the flock. We had uh 13 birds and now we have uh 27 27 birds. We want to just produce a few more eggs so that we can give them away to friends and family. It's amazing the quality of eggs that you get from your own birds uh, compared to even the best organic eggs that you can buy it's it's way superior um, with our birds out on pasture and uh, just the the taste and the color of the yolks and everything is, is is way superior to what you can buy even the best eggs that you can buy so we thought we would double our flock because it's not really any more work for us and uh, like that we can share eggs with friends and family